remember, Florida. And where exactly? Well, if this is the Florida Peninsula and along here is the so-called Panhandle, there's a bulge halfway along down into the Gulf of Mexico. And I'm right here on the Gulf County shoreline, the so-called Forgotten Coast. Gulf County is a place to let time stand still as you fish, to do some time travel with a drink in your hand and have the time of your life riding off into the sunset. Travelling around here can be chronologically confusing because Gulf County is divided into two time zones. Central time, which is one hour behind Eastern time. And here at the Lookout Lounge, currently it's 25 past five over here. But what's the time over there? The over here is 27 past six. Ah, which tells you that um, Happy hour lasts a long time. It does last a long time. Red lights are annoying, aren't they? The good news is there's only three sets of traffic lights in the whole of Gulf County. I'm about to begin the Gulf County Triathlon. Three activities starting here. I've come out to Weywa Hitchka and to meet Matt Godwin. How you doing, Simon? Very good, and we're going out on dead lakes. We are, we're going to jump in a couple of kayaks and go uh, paddle around a little bit. This area of the dead lakes, it's, uh, it's special to me because it's, uh, it's my backyard, but uh, just the, it's a very unique landscape. You don't see anything else like it. It's a slower kind of pace, it's quiet. In Gulf County, there's a lot of water, there's a lot of woods. It's got to take a type of individual with a kind of an adventurous spirit to get out and really explore it and uh, find some really out of the way places. Back to the beach for part two of my triathlon. Paddle boarding, which is where I'm going now. After that stand-up paddle boarding experience, I'm now going to ride a Harley. Hey Simon, meet Harley. Kimber is leading Harley and me through the shallows at Cape San Blas, the southernmost point on the Florida Panhandle. That's the perfect kind of horsepower for natural Florida. We are one of the only places, not only in Florida, but the entire country, where you can still ride horses on the beach. We don't have hotels on our beaches or anything like that, um, and it stays a lot quieter out here. But um, we have so many visitors come here, specifically to ride horses and just do all the nature-oriented things that we have around here. Crikey, I've lost all sense of time, and I'm worn out from kayaking, horse riding, and stand up paddle boarding. I've met lovely people, eaten delicious food, and remembered how beautiful nature can be. At one time they thought it might be the capital of Florida and uh, there's a beautiful downtown uh, shops and really quaint restaurants to eat, a very different experience and uh, one they take great pride in the tradition of, of uh, St. Joe that's along there uh, next to Me uh, Mexico Beach. Uh, it, it's a fun place to go.